We are here inside Illustrator, and I'd like to show you how to draw a map location marker. I'll show you two variations, this one and this one. So let's dive in. So we need our ellipse tool. We can click and hold on the rectangle tool and find it just here. The keyboard shortcut is the letter L. Over here in the properties panel, I'm just going to set the fill to black and the stroke to none. Clicking and dragging on my canvas, I will hold down the shift key to force this to be a circle and then just release my mouse like so. Let's go back now and grab the main tool, the selection tool just up here. And I'm just going to make a copy of this guy just now. So instead of copying and pasting, I'd like to show you a nice little trick. If you hold down the Alt or the Option key while using the selection tool, and if you just click and drag with the mouse, you can actually drag out a copy of your shape like so. Okay, so let's click on this first one just here and let's recreate this look just here. So I'm going to come down here and grab the Direct Selection tool. This is the tool you use when you wish to manipulate individual anchor points on a path. So if I click, drag and release over this bottommost anchor point to select it, we can see that it actually has a couple of handles on it. And if I grab these handles, I can change the shape of that smooth corner. Let me undo that. Now in this case, we actually want to get rid of these handles to give us that nice sharp point. And the tool we can achieve that with is over here. You'll find it under the pen tool. The keyboard shortcut is shift C and it's the anchor point tool just here. So with that tool, if I click and release on this point, the handles disappear. If you have a sharp corner like this and you wish to actually make handles, just so you know, if you click drag and release, you can make handles. And again, if you want to get rid of them, simply click and release on an anchor point. Now, all we have left to do is to move this anchor point down. So again, we know we want the direct selection tool to go after individual anchor points. So I can simply grab that and move that wherever I like. If I wish to constrain the movement to the vertical direction, which I do, I can just hold down the shift key. And just so you know, you can also do this via the keyboard as well. So you can hold down the up or down arrow keys to move the point around like so. And if you wish to speed up that process, you can hold down the shift key to jump those in larger increments like so. So that's looking pretty good just there. I might leave that one there and move on to the second example. So let's go back and grab the selection tool again, clicking on the circle just here. Now I wish to make a smaller circle, which I'll then use to puncture a hole in this larger circle just here. So let's make a copy of this guy. So I've got it selected, edit, copy, edit, paste in front. So visually nothing has changed here, but I've now got two overlapping circles and the one that's in front is currently selected. So I wish to resize this down just now. I'm going to hold down the shift key to maintain it as a circle. And I'll also include the alt or the option key to have it scale from the center. So once I'm happy with the size, I will just release there like so. So I have this larger circle just here in the back and the smaller circle in front just here. I'm going to select both circles. And now the tool that I'm going to grab here is the Shape Builder tool. Now this tool is fantastic for combining various shapes here inside of Illustrator. If, for example, I clicked, dragged and released my mouse over these two circles, as soon as I release my mouse, it actually combines anything that I had dragged over. Let me undo that. In this case, I want to put it into a subtraction mode, and I can do that by holding down the Alt or the Option key. While I'm in this mode, when I click on this center circle just now, you can see it has actually punched a hole in that larger circle just there. Just to prove to you that this isn't white, this is actually transparency. If I go up to the view menu and choose show transparency grid, we can see that checkerboard pattern showing up everywhere, including the center area, proving indeed that that area is transparent. Let me just go back into view, hide transparency grid. So. We just now need to do to this point down here, guys, what we did to this one just here. So let's go and grab the anchor point tool. Click and release. Fantastic. That's looking nice and sharp. 
And actually I can already see that that point there is selected. So I'm just going to hold down the shift key and hold down my down arrow key and remove that roughly into place there like so. Fantastic. So we're pretty much done at that point there guys. I hope that helps you creating your map location markers here inside of Illustrator. Catch you later.